Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So can anybody guess what video we are going to be ended up recording today? Y'all guessed it. We are going to be doing our cash envelope stuffing videos again. This one is going to have... I did my paycheck breakdown, and it should be posted, but I never did the stuffing for it because I never made it to the bank, so I just went ahead... I'm going to stuff both first paycheck and second paycheck together in this video. So I hope y'all are going to enjoy this. But first, we have to break down and see how much my husband's income was and where all of the money is going to go. So let's get that first. All right, so first up is the income. So his check for this week ended up being $631.35. All right, we didn't have any other income. So it gives us a total of $631.35. All right, so with us having a five week pay period this month, each of these are gonna be less than normal just because there's an extra week. So for our first two, which is the Mazda, which is my car, and the rent is going to be one twenty for both. For groceries, we are doing one hundred. For power, we need forty. For Allstate, we need thirty-eight. For AT and T, it's twenty-seven. For gas, we're putting twenty. Spending also is 20. Water is going to be 16. Diapers will be 16. Charter is going to be 14. Student loans is going to be 11. Miscellaneous will be 10. Pest control will be six. And our savings is what we have left over, which is $73. So 73. Now we're going to take our calculator here and add it up and make sure that the numbers here add up to what my husband's income was. So we have 120. All right, the total is $631. All right, so 631, which is just what we need. So that is our paycheck breakdown for the second week of April. So we're going to set this to the side, lay out our money and start stuffing our envelopes. So I could only pull out a thousand because we have a max on our card per day. So the Mazda we left in the account, so it's not here in cash. So that one is still in the account, which is fine because I am about to pay another portion on this because I'm doing half payments just so I can see if I can keep the interest low to put more towards the principal amount of it. So we shall see. But first, let's lay out our money. And the ATM was out of hundreds, so it gave me a lot more 20s. And this is two weeks worth of money here. So, huh. all right, so I'm gonna grab out my cash envelopes. And as always, I do list who I use for my cash envelopes, whose stickers I like to use, all in my description if anyone wants to know. And I have ordered me a new stand that Sarah Marie recommended, and it is fabulous. I just got it in, so it is working. It's magic. All right, so for rent, we need to put $240 in our rent envelope. So one, two, 20, 40. So one, two, 40. All right, so there's rent. For groceries, we are gonna be two and 200. So one, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 for grocery. All 
All right. Next up is power, and power is going to be getting 40 and 40, so 80. So 20, 40, 60, 80. 40, 60, 80 for the power. And our power bill has finally came down, y'all. It has been crazy high, and it is finally back really low. I'm so excited. All right, so for Allstate, Allstate is 38 plus 38, so it gets $76. So 20, 40, 60, 75, 76 for Allstate. And then for AT&T, for our phone bill, we are putting in... 27 plus 27, 54 dollars. So 20, 40, 50. One, two, three, and four. So 20, 40, 50. One, two, three, four. All right for phone bill. Next up is gas, and gas will get 40. So 20 and 40. Go. There's gas. Spending will also get 40. So 20 and 40. There's spending. Next up is water and water. Water will get 16 plus 16. So 32 dollars. 20, 31, 32, 20, 31, 2. All right, so here's our water. Diapers will also get 32, so 20, 31, and 2. All right, so there's diapers. Next up is Charter, and Charter gets $28. So 25, 26, 27, 28. So there we go. All right, next up is Student Loans, and Student Loan gets 22. So 20, 21, 22. And all of this will be going towards the principal that I put on student loans. So I'm so excited. Miscellaneous gets 20. All right. And pest control gets 12, 10, 11, and 12. All right. So there's pest control. All right, so for savings, this should be, let's pull out the calculator, 91 plus 73. So this should be 164. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20. Uh-oh, did I do my math wrong? Oh. That's because I couldn't pull out all of this either. So this is going to need 40 more added to it. As soon as I go to the ATM tomorrow, I can add the last 40. So right now we are putting in 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we're putting in 124. And then I'll add the other 20 to this the other 40 to this as soon as I get to the ATM tomorrow and be able to withdraw any more money. All right, so here's saving. Then we're gonna slide all of this into there and I will add the other 40 and that will be all good. All right, so there's savings. Here's all of our bills and expenses and these will start these are all funded for June, so this will cover everything for us in June, hopefully. Alrighty. So we've got all of these knots and stuff. They're ready. 
I'm so excited to be able to start stuffing these again. I have missed stuffing my cash envelopes and being able to do those videos for y'all because they are some of the most popular ones I do. And I'm hoping y'all are able to keep up with your budget, even with getting smaller amounts in your paychecks because these are a lot smaller than what my husband was making. So before this whole thing started, he was making $700 paychecks. Let me flip back to March. So here, all of his checks were over, way over $700. So I'm hoping that y'all are able to see that even with smaller paychecks, you're still able to kind of figure out how much of your budget you can actually put into these categories or whatever categories you do have. So I'm hoping that all of this really helps y'all and... I really hope that y'all like and subscribe to my channel and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye bye now.